Hi, I'm Paul Chakur from Nivio. I'd like to run you through our desktop as a service product, in desktop. Here we see the Australian service pricing page which outlines the components of the product and a sign up button. This takes us to the four step registration page which will create the account in real time. The first step is collecting user information such as username, password which has strict guidelines to follow for increased security, email address, now all this user information is for the admin user which will be in full control of this account moving forward. Now the last field requests number of child users. A child user is a business user which will be part of your organization and will be managed by the admin user. So we hit next on to step two. This step collects information about your business. In Australia it includes a check for a valid Australian business number or ABN, company name, business type and the business address. It also requests a contact mobile number. So once that's completed we hit next and step three collects relevant information for the Microsoft Exchange mail setup. We need to list the domain name that will be used. Now step four is the credit card payment step. I'll skip through this as it's live user data. The next screen summarizes the monthly charges and requires a confirmation from the admin user. Now this screen shows the payment success and advises the account will be automatically set up. And there we go. Account has been created and is ready to use. The next step is to download N-Drive, which is the tool for syncing data to and from the Nivio account. So now we can log in from a web browser. IE is recommended to get the full end desktop experience. From the Nivio Oz homepage, click the login button and enter the username and password selected during registration. There are three options to log in. The default in IE is full screen mode, which will open a familiar RDP screen. The other option is to remain within the current browser window and the third option is a Java window which is perfect for public or shared computers and does not need admin privileges. For this demo we will launch in full screen mode. So we hit login and the next screen runs through some system checks and then connects you to your newly created desktop. And there we go, your very own Windows desktop in the cloud with all the familiar features you have grown to know. You will notice five shortcuts on the left hand side which include the end center control panel which I will take you through in more detail later in this demo. From the start menu you will notice the Microsoft Office 2010 applications already pre-provisioned as part of the package. These are immediately available for launch, as you can see Excel. Now let's open Internet Explorer the browsing experience is near exact as per your local computer. You will notice no lag or framing of images as experienced with some remote desktop services. Now I want to run you through another integrated feature of the end desktop, Microsoft Exchange Mail. During registration and provisioning, your exchange service was automatically set up on our system. As we registered with the subdomain of nivio.com.au, the DNS records were automatically updated with the correct MX and CNAME records, so Outlook can be automatically configured. With automatic configuration, you only need to run through the wizard by clicking Next at each stage. The email address is already inserted in the email field. Click Allow to allow the use of the automatic config file from our servers. Enter the email address and password. And you're done. Click finish and now Outlook will launch ready for use.
Now let's fire off a test email to ourselves. Call it test, send, and it will be instantly received. Now, our Exchange service also comes with Outlook Web Access, or OWA, which is accessible from any web browser. The URL is owa.nivio.com.au for our Australian product. Enter the email address and password and you will see all your emails here also. There's the received email. And you'll also see in the sent items the email that was sent from the Outlook client. Now let's go through the NCenter control panel in more detail. The first tab is called NApps. This is where you can add free or paid applications to your account. You can browse categories. Let's have a look at the productivity category. You can see MS Project and Visio as examples. Let's select Project. Click Rent and then select the length of time the app is required in months. Let's select one month, then pay now. The credit card on file will be debited instantly once we confirm payment. Now we can check that the app is available from the start menu. There it is. Let's launch it. Now that's ready to use. Let's try a free app. Let's add Skype. Simply click Rent and within seconds it's available from Start Menu. It can also be launched from NCenter. The Rent button turns to a Launch button when it is installed. By the way, Skype works perfectly within the end desktop as two-way audio is supported. The next tab is N Account. This tab provides details on all the services you have subscribed to, including storage and applications. You can add additional storage on a monthly basis. The other sub-tab is Transaction History. This will show a billing summary for all services taken within the current month. You can see the MS Project line item we just rented. You can also see previous month invoices from this section and print or export to a PDF. Select the destination to save the PDF and there it is on the desktop. To the right there is an option to edit your user profile including your password. Beneath that is the email control panel which can be used to manage features such as full name display, email aliases and distribution lists. The next and probably most important tab for a business is the end business tab. This is where the admin user can manage all child or employee accounts. Now let's activate the child account we purchased during registration. Click on activate new account and we are presented with a simple form to complete. We need to provide a username and password combination as well as the email ID. We then hit register and this account will be provisioned within 60 seconds. Now let's refresh the screen by navigating away and then back again. 
And there it is. This user is now ready to log in and use their end desktop service. This user can now be customised with applications and additional storage. The admin user is the only user with access to this function. Let's add Skype. Add to basket. Now let's also add Microsoft Physio to this user's profile. Next. OK. Now these are provisioned in real time and will be available for the user instantaneously on login. You can also manage the child user's email, full name display as well as aliases. It's as simple as that. There's also a reset password function in case they forget their password. We can also manage the user's storage allowance. Now back to accounts. The admin user can disable an account, transfer the contract to a new user, or cancel the account. The next sub-tab is GroupShare. This is where we create the virtual file server. The admin user can give the necessary permissions and access to child users to the company share folder. This folder sits within the N-Drive on the admin's account. Let's create a new folder called Sales Data and a new Word doc called Sales Forecasts. Let's go back to End Center and refresh the End Business tab and click on Group Shares again. The Sales Data folder now appears under the Company Share Parent folder. Let's select this new folder and then give the child user read permissions, then save changes. We can also give them write access. The next tab is the credit card details, which can be managed by the admin user as appropriate. The reporting tab shows login details for the child users. And the last tab is the add account for purchasing additional child users with the appropriate plan. Once purchased, they can then be activated as we did earlier. That wraps up this demo. Thank you for your time.